and welcome back to Reinspired Adventures. Now let's dive into the details of these bustling ports. Starting off our list at number one is the Port of Los Angeles known as America's Port. Located in San Pedro Bay, just 20 miles south of downtown Los Angeles, it's a bustling hub of commerce and shipping. Established in 1907, this historic port has grown into one of the largest and busiest in the world, handling annually over 9 million 20-foot equivalent units or TEUs, the Port of Los Angeles, is a vital link in the supply chain, facilitating trade with over 175 countries. Its state-of-the-art facilities and infrastructure accommodate a diverse range of cargo, including automobiles, petroleum, and consumer goods. This maritime giant sprawls across 7,500 acres, boasts 25 cargo terminals, and counts China and Hong Kong, Japan and South Korea among its major trade partners. But it's more than just a hub of commerce. The Port of Los Angeles is an economic engine generating billions of dollars in revenue and supporting millions of jobs. In 2009, the port opened a $21 million command center, the Long Beach Harbor Patrol. It's a group of trained and armed officers dedicated to security and public safety at the Port of Long Beach. The officers monitor port facilities and public roads, respond to dispatchers, and have authority to access all marine terminals and cargo at the port. In addition, it also operates round-the-clock camera surveillance, mobile underwater sonar, dive team, explosive detectors, and other technology to protect port facilities and operations. Next up is the Port of New Jersey and New York, holding down the second spot. Taking the prize for the largest port on the East Coast, the Port of New Jersey and New York handles over 7.4 million containers annually. Noteworthy for its diverse cargo, this port is home to the Port Authority Marine Terminal, and plays an important role in the region's economic activity. Straddling the border of two states, this bustling port is a key player in the United States maritime industry. Its strategic location provides easy access to the Atlantic Ocean, making it a crucial hub for international trade. Equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, the Port of New Jersey and New York handles 7.4 million TEUs annually. This immense cargo volume showcases the port's capacity to manage large-scale operations efficiently but it's not just about size and volume. This maritime giant sprawls across 12,000 acres, boasts seven cargo terminals, and counts China, India, Germany, among its major trade partners. At number three, we have the Port of Long Beach. Nestled in the heart of Southern California, this bustling port is a hive of activity, managing a staggering volume of cargo each year. Hardly surprising since it ranks as the 21st busiest container port globally. This port is a significant gateway for trade between the United States and Asia, hosting a multitude of shipping lines that span the globe. The port's facilities are finely tuned to handle the vast volumes of cargo that pass through daily, with an impressive array of cranes, container terminals, and advanced cargo handling equipment. One of the unique features of the Port of Long Beach is its container volume of 9 million TEUs and over 78 million tons of metric revenue annually. This maritime port sprawls across 3,200 acres and boasts 80 cargo berths. Known for its eco-friendly policies, it's focused on reducing environmental impacts while supporting local economic growth with over 370,000 direct and indirect employment. Next, coming in fourth, is the Port of Savannah. Located in Savannah, Georgia, the port is operated by the Georgia Ports Authority. With particular strength in handling heavy goods such as cars, machinery, and agricultural products, the port plays a pivotal role in trade between the U.S. and countries across Asia, Latin America, and Europe. As of 2021, the port was the third busiest seaport in the United States. Its facilities for ocean-going vessels line both sides of the Savannah River and are approximately 18 miles from the Atlantic Ocean. The Port of Savannah is the largest single container terminal in the Western Hemisphere. In 2022, it moved 5.8 million TEUs. The port is located within 300 miles of 37.2 million residents, 11 major metro areas, 8 major international airports, and 5 major ports. As one of the state's largest public employers, the port directly employs almost 1,300 trained logistics professionals. The port, however, is responsible for generating far more employment throughout the state. Its operations, together with private sector, Port-related operations account for more than 440,000 jobs statewide, $106 billion in revenue, and income exceeding $25 billion annually. It's a symbol of American industry, 
a testament to the country's economic prowess, behind Los Angeles, Long Beach, and New Jersey, and sits in the top 40 in the world. Now let's head down south. At number 5, we find ourselves in Texas at the port of Houston. In the early days, barges carried goods along a winding long-distance route to the Gulf of Mexico. In Galveston, the barges met up with seagoing vessels that carried goods to and from the rest of the U.S. and overseas. As cargo volumes grew with the city, the lack of a deep water port in Houston caused increasingly more problems. During the 1890s, business and civic leaders continuously lobbied with no avail for a deep water ship channel. This would serve the many international shipping companies who transported cotton and other cargo from Texas. And now, this port is one of the world's largest ports and serves the metropolitan area of Houston, Texas. The port is a 50-mile-long complex of diversified public and private facilities located a few hours sailing time from the Gulf of Mexico. The Port of Houston is the busiest port in vessel and barge movements and, for the second year in the row, is the largest U.S. port by tonnage, with over 200 docks and 270 facilities. The port is also home to the largest petrochemical manufacturing complex in the nation and the largest Gulf Coast container port handling 69% of the U.S. Gulf Coast container traffic. This port also supports more than 3 million jobs nationwide and is responsible for economic activity approaching $1 trillion, including 20% of Texas GDP and generates more than $38 billion in tax revenue annually. Next, we're off to the East Coast again. On our list at number 6 is the Port of Virginia. The Virginia's ports have been a boon to Virginia and the world for nearly four centuries, from the early founding as America's first port at Jamestown in 1607 through the era of the great clipper ships to the present day. The fifth biggest container port in the U.S. is located on the harbor of Hampton Roads, Virginia. Managed by Virginia Port Authority, the deepwater port handles more than 2.3 million TEUs of cargo a year. It also shelters the world's largest naval base, the largest shipbuilding and repair industrial base, a thriving export coal and bulk trade, and the sixth largest containerized operation in the United States. Centered around the busy Norfolk Harbor, commercial vessels also steadily move cargo up the James and York Rivers, as well as down the branches of the Elizabeth River. In 2020, the Virginia International Gateway expansion aims to double the terminal's annual cargo handling capacity and grow the annual container capacity of the port by 40%. It will also enable the terminal to handle 1.2 million containers a year while creating 166,000 jobs. Our seventh stop is a bit different. It's the Northwest Seaport Alliance. Nestled in the Pacific Northwest, this alliance is a unique collaboration between the ports of Seattle and Tacoma, combining their efforts to streamline operations and maximize efficiency. The two seaports, which had been rivals for most of the 20th century but lost ground to nearby ports in British Columbia, proposed a merger of marine cargo operations in 2014, a public development authority was created in 2015 and approved by the Federal Maritime Commission, resulting in the formation of the Northwest Seaport Alliance on August 4, 2015. For the year of 2016, the Northwest Seaport Alliance reported its container traffic totaled 3.6 million TEUs, an increase of 2% from 2015 and 28 million metric tons. As of 2023, it is the seventh busiest container port in the United States. The two ports serve 22 international container carriers, as well as 30 other carriers providing regular service to seaports in East Asia, Alaska, Hawaii, Central America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and Morocco. The Alliance's top imports include industrial machinery, electronics, vehicles, toys, and furniture. Its top exports include oil seeds and grains, industrial machinery, prepared vegetables and fruits, fish and seafood, edible fruits and metals. Moving over to the East Coastline, we're arriving at our eighth stop, the bustling port of Charleston, South Carolina. Noted as a key player in the global supply chain, Charleston's port handles millions of TEUs annually. From the Civil War era forts in the harbor to the port as a center for trade, Charleston's history and economy are anchored in the water that borders the city. Rice and indigo trades flourished in the 18th century bringing the city significant wealth and prominence. When the first shots of the Civil War were fired in Charleston's harbor, the city took on a pivotal role in the war. The Port of Charleston hosts shipping services by all of the globe's top container carriers. In fiscal year 2021, the Port of Charleston handled 2.8 million TEUs, 
Today, the Port of Charleston boasts the deepest water in the southeast region and regularly handles post-Panamax vessels passing through the newly expanded Panama Canal. The Port of Charleston handles a diverse range of imports and exports, underscoring its role as a key player in America's international trade. Cruise ships will no longer start their journeys from Charleston by the end of 2024, the South Carolina Ports Authority said. The authority decided to not renew a deal with Carnival Cruise Line that allowed cruises to begin and end from the Union Pier Terminal in downtown Charleston. Cruise ships can continue to dock at Charleston, but only for brief same-day port of call stops. Our journey now takes us to the vibrant West Coast, specifically back to the sunny state of California, where the Port of Oakland awaits us. Port of Oakland history spans a period of over 150 years, beginning with the San Francisco Bay, becoming a working harbor in the mid-1800s. The port's past encompasses the Gold Rush, Civil War, Industrial Revolution, Two World Wars, and the United States coming of age as a global power. In terms of annual container traffic, Oakland ranks among the top 20 ports in the world. Its extensive container terminal facilities and good rail and highway connections make Oakland a major gateway for intermodal shipments to and from the Midwest, Gulf and East Coasts, as well as North California. Three major railroads serve the port. In 2023, about 75% of Oakland's trade was with Asia. Europe accounted for 15%, Australia, New Zealand and other Pacific Islands about 2%, and other foreign nations about 1%. About 7% of Oakland's trade is domestic, primarily Hawaii. California's three major container ports carry approximately half of the nation's total container cargo volume. As we leave the sunny shores of California behind, we set sail towards our final port in this exciting journey. At last, we dock at our final destination, the dynamic and bustling port of Miami, Florida, aptly nicknamed the cruise capital of the world. The origins of the Port of Miami begin in 1840 with a log pier along the mouth of the Miami River. Henry M. Flagler was instrumental in maritime commerce industry in Miami. His companies constructed the Port of Miami between Biscayne Boulevard and 6th and 9th Streets. Recognizing its influence on Miami, the city purchased the seaport in 1913. The cruise line industry began at Port of Miami in the 1940s with service to Havana, Nassau, and the Lesser Antilles. This made Dade County take notice and the county purchased the Port of Miami in the 1950 Eaktes port in hand, they began looking for a replacement location for the seaport to expand. Eventually, with Miami Herald's endorsement, the Ore Plan won, and on July 22, 1959, Dade County officials announced that the new seaport would be constructed on Dodge Island and its spoil banks. Port Miami is the busiest cruise passenger port in the world. It accommodates major cruise lines such as Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Disney, and MSC, and others, it also serves as the home port of one of the largest cruise ships in the world, by gross tonnage, icon of the seas. Over 5.5 million cruise passengers pass through the port each year. As the cargo gateway of the Americas, the port primarily handles containerized cargo with small amounts of brake bulk, vehicles, and industrial equipment. It is the largest container port in the state of Florida and 10th in the United States. Over 9.6 million tons of cargo and over 1 million TEUs of intermodal container traffic move through the seaport per year. The economic impact from cargo operations at Port Miami to Florida amounts to $35 billion. China is Port Miami's largest trade partner, while Honduras is ranked first in terms of trade value. Computers represent the port's most valuable export, while insulated wire and cable are considered the most valuable import. And with the Miami skyline fading into the horizon, we conclude our journey through some of the most influential ports in the United States. If you enjoyed this journey through the top 10 America busiest ports and want more of these adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications to ensure you never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching, and until our next adventure, happy exploring.